Hey, I'm Mark Prosser. Question mark column in Lincoln's Arc Welding Magazine coming out next month. Go get a copy. So question number five. This is a, a topic that we talk about all the time. Big welds versus small welds. The bigger the glob, the better the job. Turn it up and burn it in. Well, I'm here to tell you that is not how it works. Anybody that's telling you that is, has never tested a lot of welds. Here's the deal. When we weld and we test welds and we break welds as part of destructive testing, the weld, a good weld, will always break right next to the weld. It's called the heat affected zone. Hence the name, heat affected zone. That means the metal was affected in a bad way by the heat input of the weld. So in reality, the smaller we can keep that heat affected zone, the better, the less effect we have on the base metal. When we put big welds on there and big hot welds and we burn it in, that heat affected zone gets much bigger and it changes the molecular structure of the metal. So we need to make sure that we fuse the pieces, but the least amount of heat that we can use to fuse all those pieces, the better, because it's a less effect on the base metal. Big welds do not necessarily mean strong welds. And when you turn that machine way up and you put great big welds on there, you're actually doing the reverse of what you think you're doing. So like this one little weld I have for an example here, it's a little stainless weld. And you can notice the heat affected zone on the edges of it, it's pretty small. It's a small weld. If I, if I double up the size of that weld, that heat affected zone is gonna get double in size. So the bottom line is, the new machines, the inverter machines, they have pulsation on them. Pulsing the weld has changed a lot of that, but we wanna use the minimum amount of heat that we need to fuse all those pieces together. And bigger the glob, the better the job is not how this stuff works. So go get a copy of Arc Magazine. You can follow me at Mark Prosser Welds on Instagram. We're gonna have more and more of these questions coming up. We hope you follow along.